So how many blades are we going to use? These senior engineering students at Case Western Reserve University are gearing up for the real world. So the surface area along this bottom edge is really small. This is the Engineering Design Senior Capstone Project. Working in small teams, the students are challenged to design and build a working device. This semester, it's a wind turbine. Big project. One of the big challenges is being able to build a wind turbine from design to completion in the span of only a semester. So it's, it's a big project, but it's an exciting one. You know, in industry, product development, the first one that's built rarely, if ever, works. Because no matter how much analysis you do, in all likelihood, you will not know where all the stumbling blocks are until you try to make it work. We can do this, we gotta do that. Um, it's really tough trying to find out where to start, um, which direction to go in. It's normal to spin your wheels a little bit when you get started. Like, well, we start with the generator, the controls, do we start with the turbine blades? And they come and ask me, I say, well, that's part of your function. You have to decide it. We're headed the right way, I believe, and we're going to be able to get this done and actually, you know, come out with a nice product. With just 12 weeks to build the wind turbine, the students quickly learn the importance of time management. I think the 100 watt motor should be fine. We've uh, really developed our plan and uh, I think we know where we want to go. It's week nine and the teams are in varying stages of design. Right now, just put it together yeah. and cross our fingers. I haven't really seen much of what the other groups are doing. We kind of try to keep uh, those things separate, but I haven't actually seen anybody else with a full assembly yet. We could be ahead of the game, I'm not sure. So I guess we, we had an initial schedule, everything was planned out, but as the semester went on, you know, we came up with some problems. We haven't gotten to the panic point yet. Now our goal, our goal is Friday to have everything together. I emphasize this year especially, but I always do get a head start on this thing. Otherwise, you'll get within three weeks of the end of the semester and you'll realize there's no way you can deliver the mission. I think that you know, we've got enough time. It's going to be a matter of you know, getting together and just, just working on it. I like those blades. I feel pretty confident with where we are. If um, I feel like we're ahead of other people, if not at the same pace, so we're not too worried. But as you can see, we have an alignment issue. It's crunch time. The students have just a few weeks to make their final adjustments before presenting their wind turbines for a grade. I would say this is the one they really want to get a good grade in because uh, the, when they go out and take job interviews, this is the capstone course. There's something a prospective employer can relate to. But this major engineering challenge isn't over yet. Following their classroom presentations, five teams are invited to the Engineering Design Capstone Projects Award presentation, where a panel of local industry leaders and senior administration from the university choose a winning team. I think you'll see from the projects that are presented today, the results of these projects, uh, some really excellent work, good thought, and, and good results. We discovered that as the blades turn, it perturbs the flow, and so the vein perceives flow coming in at an angle, so that's why the vein is offset slightly uh, to make sure that the, the blades stay orthogonal to the flow direction. Uh, we would like to demonstrate our wind turbine. One of the issues um, with the wind turbines is the uh, cost effectiveness without government subsidies. You've chosen uh, carbon fiber, which is a relatively expensive material. Could you comment on that? It was, it was readily available on campus. They had a big bin with plenty of carbon fiber scraps. <laughs> <laughs> and so in our perspective, it was cost effective. Well, thank you again, and uh, excellent job. So for our goals, we want it to be a simple design, and that was mostly for easy manufacturing and maximum reliability. We also want it to be robust so it could adapt to different conditions. We want it to be able to rotate to adjust to the fan direction, the fan speed, and have things be able to move around. And it moves pretty quick. It gets up to about 1,000 RPMs on the highest setting. If you had the time, what, uh, what What's one more change you would have made to your design to uh, just blue sky and say, gee, I wish we would have done that? I think it would have, it would have been interesting to be able to manufacture our own blades. I think with the time we could have figured that out and put it together. All right. Thank you, judges, and thank you again, Tim, Jeremy, Sean, and Paul. Our 
blade design. We initially just cut them out of PVC pipe. It's cheap, durable, uh, relatively lightweight. And uh, down in the Bingham shop, we put a leading and trailing edge just to improve aerodynamic properties. You spent a lot of time analyzing and looking at the vibration, so I was just curious, do you know how much of an impact the vibration issue would have on the performance? For vibrations, the main concern wasn't that anything would break necessarily, but we were having issues with it honestly being safe to operate because it was wobbling so much and it can, when it wobbles, it can walk across the table or do other such unsafe things. Thank you. So we have two rotors. Um, it's good to note now that the, the, the rotors are co-rotating. Um, and it's titled uh, the dual rotor horizontal axis wind turbine. Thank you, Team 4. We estimated the fan speed on the blades to be about 300 RPM. And for the generator, which Alex will talk about in a second, um, the optimum speed is around 15,000. So we need a 15 to 1 ratio. Uh, we started with the main shaft coming off of the turbine blades. We also used uh, skateboard bearings. The blades were constructed, technique similar to model aircraft, with balsa ribs um, and monocoat covering, uh, laser cut. Each little segment of the blade would be at approximately an 8 degree angle of attack, um, which would give a nice constant force along the blades. This is fan speed one. How much power are you, you suggesting that you're generating at top speed? Through uh, testing with just a resistive load uh, and measuring the voltage, we were able to get about a watt and a half. Okay, with that, I'd like to thank uh, Team 5 again. In fact, thank, thank all the teams. They've done a, an excellent job. We'll take a short break now and uh, reconvene when the judges will uh, give their final decision. In general, I was very impressed by the, the creativity and the enthusiasm oh, yeah. and the energy yeah. and so forth. I thought they all did a really nice job. Um, they were all good. The novelty of them were all great. They didn't just try to copy the wind turbine that was out there. But it does sound like Team 3 and 5 were probably did the yeah, I think the those two. I, I agree, those two are the best. Our judges conferred before lunch. It was a very uh, challenging decision, I would say. We spent a good bit of time, we kind of narrowed it down to a couple, and uh, it made a difficult decision. But we've chosen team number five as today's winner. So let's have a round of applause for team number five. It was, it was a very close competition, particularly with team number three. And it, I think it was the case blue color on team number five here. That's what did it for me, I think. So, uh, so, but it was a, it was you all did a great job, and we really appreciate all the hard work. So, congratulations, Shannon, Michael, Alexander, Matthew, and Brian. Congratulations. Good job. I'm honestly very surprised. We were just trying to do the best we could with the balance of our course load. It makes the nights staying in Glennon until. 11.30 or 1 worthwhile. I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, I mean, we put together a good project. I think we accomplished all the goals that were uh, presented to us. Uh, there's some room for improvement, you know, as always, but overall I think we accomplished what we set out to do. You know, we saw quite a bit of ingenuity here today, resourcefulness, creativity, teamwork, uh, and it's really what we do best here. We enable young minds in thinking beyond the possible and solving the world's problems to the betterment of our local and national communities in the world. And we look forward to next year having another competition. Thank you, everybody. I have a, a good homework assignment for myself to come up with something that's good for next fall. <laughs>